Hey, what's going on? It's Captain Steve here, Deadliest Cast Fishing. You're about to watch this new sturgeon video that I'm I'm just putting up right now. Uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Watch the video. It's it's pretty fun. Uh, also, at the very end, there's a little catch and cook kind of deal going on. It's a whole new, different way of cooking sturgeon that I've never done. It's kind of a surprise, a little secret. So, hope you guys enjoy, and I'm gonna get ready for my next fishing trip here. Uh, I'm gonna start going for halibut. So, I'll see you guys in the water. All right, so we're at the secret spot here and uh, just kind of waiting on a bite. See what happens here, but I'll show you guys the bait. Some fresh ghost shrimp. These I pumped the other day and these got it at a local bait shop. Actually, Bill got them there. But uh, yeah, just waiting on that rod tip. Welcome. There we go. To Jurassic Park. coming. The very, there you go. All right. We got a fish on here. He hit it pretty hard. In the middle of eating my string cheese. <laughs> Take my time. Tire out, tire out. Sneezy. Come on. Yeah. It's close. Yeah! Woo. Oh man! <laughs> oh my god! It's a fatty! Oh. oh my god! I've been waiting for that all, <laughs> literally all year. I'll take care of him. Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my god. 150 pound liter. First time ever thing came right out. Oh my god. What a beauty. Look at that thing. Wow. What was that? How many minutes was that? <laughs> Maybe. Oh. Feel that. He wrapped in it. Yeah. 
He oh wrapped, yeah, yeah, yeah. He wrapped in it. Right yeah. Whew. All right, let's measure this thing out. For sure, that's a keeper. I'm oh, saying 50. Oh, it's just about a 56. Put it right on that little. Uh, Come on, buddy. Straight over there. Yeah. Right up there. Nose right up there. Fatty. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. 51. It's 51? 51. Let's do it sideways. Again? All right. There. Yeah. 51. Perfect. You went on the money. Woo! Man. Thank you. That was quick. <sighs> you have something I can ride on? Oh. Here. You can ride oh, on that. Or, I got this alert. If, if you want, you come up here and, and, and ride on top of that. That's a little. That's catchy. a work. You okay there? Yeah. Nice spot right there. What time is it? 802. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right, here we are. This is the fish I caught. Uh, it's a beautiful fish. This thing's 52 inches, just a little over 46 pounds. Uh, as you can see, all these really sharp diamonds and scoots up here. This is what gets all wrapped up in your leader, in your braid, and will cut through it. Um, this is what I use today to try to catch this. This is an Okuma Tesoro, a tan. This is a star drag, okay? Um, I caught it on the brand new leaders that I'm tying here. This is a 150 pound leader of mine. So you still got the thread from the bait. It's a barbless seven odd kale hook. And you can't really tell, but it's got some abrasion. You can kind of see the marks where I rolled on it. This fish was actually wrapped up after I hooked it. It wrapped itself in the leader and it was fighting me. But this is why I go big on these things. I make them a little longer. When that fish wraps around, it gets caught in these scoots like that and it rubs on it. Now if you got a really, really light leader material it'll, it'll it'll break right off so um, yeah pretty much that's it we put this away okay and we got an Okuma PCH custom this is an 801 MH it's a 15 to 40 pound rod this rod will handle these sturgeon no problem um, it's a beautiful rod it's the first fish I've caught on this rod so I'm really impressed now I know that uh, I can pull a little harder next time but it didn't take long to, for this fish to come in. Um, I put the brakes to them, so you guys check it out. If you want some of these leaders, they're going to be available. Well, they are available now on tackleswap.com. So limited quantity because they're really hard to tie. So you guys go on there and check them out. They're on there now. Like I said, you guys may have seen this on, on Taku's latest sturgeon video. He used my leaders. He used a neon color. Um, I have them different colors. I have neon, I have camo, I have the peach color, and I got this uh, this black one right here. I think I'm gonna call it Murder After Dark. You know. So, yeah, you guys check them out on tackleswap.com. I'll put the link in the description of the video. You guys click on that, order your leaders. They're limited quantity, limited limited run that I'm making. Like I said, they're really hard to tie. So, yeah, check this stuff out. I'll put all the info for for the rod and reel that I use for this in the video and uh, we're gonna start filleting here in a, in a few seconds here so I'll walk you guys through how to fillet this properly and as you see let me show you why these things are difficult to catch okay now let me turn this guy over see this mouth right here this is what picks up your bait it'll pick it up it'll take your bait in it'll spit it out in out kind of like, like a carp or a catfish or whatever but um if you don't hook it anywhere else but the mouth, this is really hard. I hooked the fish a couple weeks ago and hooked in here somewhere and it just didn't it didn't stick. But in here is where you want to get this thing, okay? So very small mouth for a really big fish, which makes it really tricky to, to catch these things. So all right, so here we are. We got the fish all filleted out. We're gonna do a, a special recipe. I saw a Taku from Outdoor Chef Life. He made a kind of Japanese a katsu style. So we're gonna do the same. But we're taking his idea and we're gonna roll with it. Check it out. 
really simple. We got some flour, some flour right here. We got some eggs, some panko. This is the honey panko breadcrumbs. It's a Japanese style. So I got the fish just kind of, I guess you'd say kind of butterflied out. This and the flour, really simple. I'm kind of excited about this little twist of a recipe. All right. So now we're gonna put some, put some egg wash, just like that, okay. Take that off. Add some panko. Okay. Just cover this thing up. Okay. Nice and breaded. All right. Now I got this. This wok here. Some hot oil. Fry up. All right. All right. So I got this on a on a medium heat. We're gonna let this just get nice and golden crispy, and uh, flip it around in a few seconds here, a few minutes. So. So the good thing about sturgeon is usually when you get a keeper, it's got a lot of meat. You can try different recipes. I know I've done I've done ceviche. I've done the ball citrus with mats. I've done. The, the crispy sturgeon sandwich the other day and now we're trying this um i'm not gonna say what it is yet but if you know me when i say things like you know like just roll with it you guys might get it but you'll see in a second here but yeah this is all all based on what our friend taco did so we're taking his idea and we're gonna roll with it all right so you guys can see it's getting kind of crispy it's nice and hot. So All right, so this is pretty much down here. Nice and crispy. Beautiful white sturgeon. All right, so this is the surprise we're doing. So like I said, I saw Taku's video. He did the Donkatsu style sturgeon. And I took that idea and we're gonna roll with it. So what I have here is we're gonna make some sushi with it, okay? Okay, I got the seaweed. Got the fish here. Um, so let's get this thing going. Got some sushi rice. You can also watch a video on how to make that rice on this channel. You know, we made an attempt yesterday. We made some you know, yesterday. So let's roll one out. In Deadly's cast, we always roll one out. Sushi, that is. Okay, so I'm just gonna get the sushi rice. Um, I find it easier that when I wet my hands a little bit, the rice doesn't stick to my hands as much. You imagine these big bear paws, these sausage wings, hard to work with, you know? They're meant for grabbing fish, not rolling little itty bitty sushi rolls, but we'll make the best of it, you know? really quick you guys have seen me do this before I just cover this paper up the rice okay all right so we pretty much got most of it covered again it's not gonna be perfect but be good enough for me 
So, I got this at our local grocery store. It's got sesame seeds, but I added some of the black sesame seeds, some of the black sesame seeds to it to kind of give my own twist. So I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of that on top. Okay. All right, so now I'm gonna flip this thing over. There we go, okay. So some of the ingredients that I'm, I'm gonna throw in this, this roll, I got some mangoes here, some avocados, and some green onions. Really simple. All right, so now, I'm gonna get our fish. This is our sturgeon right here. Take a look. It's a katsu style sturgeon. Okay, I'm just gonna cut this thing kind of long lies here. Look at that knife how it cuts. This is from Ray the Pokemon, okay? Okay, so nice and crispy. I'm gonna get this fish right in here. I've never seen this done before. This is first attempt. Let me know what you guys think. All right, so now I'm gonna get some mangoes. Again, this is gonna be a really simple sushi roll. I hope this is really good. It kinda, it's kinda a good idea. Cut this thing so it'll fit perfectly. Okay, now just get our avocados. All right, I get that. All right, so now that we got this on here, I'm just gonna try to roll this up as best as I can. Okay, just, just like that. All right, so now that I got that somewhat semi-rolled. We're gonna get our, our seaweed roller. Kinda put it on there. Make this thing as round as I can, okay? Who did it, Scooby? Scooby, who did it? Wanna go fishing? You wanna go fishing? You wanna go fishing? You wanna go fishing, Scooby? Wanna go fishing? Let's go fishing, Scooby. All right, so Scooby's excited about the roll. Let's see. Okay. Like I said, it's not sushi restaurant perfect, but it's gonna work. Still learning this craft. All right, so now I'm gonna cut this thing up. I find it easier if you wet your knife a little bit. This will cut a lot easier on your rolls, so. Jurassic size sushi rolls by Deadliest Cast. I don't know, I've had a lot of people mention lately that I should do like a food pop-up or something. What do you guys think? All right, so now that it's cut up, got six pieces, I'm just gonna kind of reshape it a little bit. All right guys, check it out. So that's a sturgeon roll, it's got avocado and mango. Uh, just really basic, okay? So now we're gonna dress it up. So this is also the sauce that he used uh, when, he, when he made that the sturgeon uh, tonkatsu. Uh, we actually found it at uh, one of the Asian markets. It's got a bulldog on it. It's called Bulldog Vegetable fr and Fruit Sauce uh, Tonkatsu Sauce. And now I'm just going to do this little drizzle. Look at that. delicious now I'm just gonna get some diced green onions I'm excited for this one look at that how does that look is that out absolutely just delicious all right so Let's get to eating. All right, guys, here it is. This is the first ever 
uh, white sturgeon sushi roll that, that I've heard of in existence. Um, yeah, I'm excited to try it. I'm gonna pair this with the San Diego Jam from Bivouac. Yeah, both one pretty cider. Pretty good stuff. So let's give it a shot. Let's see what it is. You yeah. know, I got my soy sauce here, my spicy mayo that I made. I got my bivouac, and uh, let's go. Let's do this. That is, it's, I don't know. What should we name this thing? I'm thinking. Call it the Jurassic Park roll. All right. So a little spicy mayo, a little soy sauce, or that the katsu sauce. I don't know, I'm about to just savage now. They're good. Look at that. Mm. try this you know, like I said we took Taku's idea his, his recipe we rolled with it and what we got was a Jurassic Park roll okay by Deadliest Cast Fishing so that's good anyhow yeah, guys we're gonna keep eating this stuff hope you guys enjoy the video um, we got more stuff coming so I'll leave all the info on this stuff here in the video if you guys can, can make it. But it's really good, you know. All the ingredients I'll put in there as well. So, until next time guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna keep eating this stuff. I'm gonna drink my cider, eat my sushi. And uh, I'll see you guys in the water. See you later.